Just San Jose, get ready for Gatorade NHL Puck Control. Featuring Patrick Kane, Elias Pedersen, Jeff Skinner, Mark Shifley, Gabriel Landeskog, Claude Giroux, John Tavares, and Johnny Goudreau. So Patrick Kane leads off this competition. I think you saw what they have to do is to cattle through the pucks around the Gatorade bottles and then put the puck through the lit target as they reach what is their attacking zone. And Patrick Kane will lead things off. It's just hard for me to imagine that he's 30 years old now. No, isn't he's it? in his eighth All-Star game. He's fifth in scoring, but at 30 now, he might have the best statistical season of his NHL career. His team has struggled. But he has been fantastic. I think with this event we talked about, I think the first two sections are not are going to be pretty even amongst these guys. But getting to this third section clean and showing a little bit of skill picking this puck up, which is a clean puck. It's a clean puck and it's a warmer puck. What difference will that make? It's just easy, more friction. It's going to be easier to put the puck and stick it on your stick. And then he makes that look pretty easy. Yeah, he sure does. Oh, God. Well, the guys' individual skills, these are the kind of things that they work on in the offseason, they work on during the year. You've seen the great video of Patrick Kane amongst the 100 pucks or so going in and out. And I think this, as you said, Kevin, maybe that area through the targets too, going back and forth, who will be the fastest? That's where Johnny Gaudreau last year really, I think, picked up a lot of time going through the bottles if you can be clean there you're certainly gonna have a chance you're, you're looking at Patrick Kane's one of the best of the best right there though there's obviously a lot of skill in the NHL and this guy coming up next is gonna show you a little bit fantastic well, you're looking at top end skill right here skillful he's also observant as uh, in one of his very few interviews since he's been here he picked up on the fact that Scott Oak asks way too many questions <laughs> he shut Scotty down and it takes years to figure that one out and so then he's not quite as low down as Patrick Kane. He's a little bit taller, and in his first competition, you heard what he said about the skating competition. And now, he's gonna he's gonna finish it though. He wanted to do over there, and I after he saw denied. Yeah. Well, maybe, maybe he was thinking like the fastest skater. When you fall down, you're able to do it again. That one just lost control of the puck, and that's a tough thing for a real good talented young guy boy he doesn't look Swedish at all though does he <laughs> uh, try a little razzle dazzle at the end he's good here he'll be back to do many more of these skills competitions that's pretty much a lot you know it? I said off the top this is unlike anything that these guys do I mean they, they're so good at doing things instinctively in the course of a game and making a split second read this is just so daunting especially your first time with all the all-stars there well as an 18 year old the Vancouver Canucks after they drafted him weren't sure if he was going to be able to play in the Swedish Elite League and he did and he won the scoring championship and was the best player in the playoffs and was named the golden boy then they weren't sure whether he could play center ice in the National Hockey League in his first season and he has he is a very confident young man who believes he's where he belongs and uh, the death stare that Scott told us about a little earlier comes when people ask him questions that he doesn't think are appropriate or might be misinformed. This is Jeff Skinner of the Buffalo Sabres in his second All-Star game. A little bit of a bobble in that first section, but he kept going and he'll get the new puck and go for these targets. And he's known as a skater too. He's got some pretty good edges. Obviously hands are good. Oh, oh got right. stuffed on the last one. Just <laughs> tried to shoot it through. That target's rubber. Oh, missed it now. Oh. <laughs> it was a promising start that just, as he laughs to the bench, fell down. Now, I don't know, are you, are you, do you have to actually go through? Because did he get through all of them? Yeah, he bobbled a couple times, but he was able to hit every gate. And we talked about edges. There'll be some video coming up here where he's got a unique history and a unique background. He has a figure skating background that he did when he was younger and he really enjoyed it. 
And I've skated for a long time, and I can't do any of this stuff. And, and his hair is amazing right here it as well. Is. And it's real. As an 11-year-old, he won a bronze medal at the Canadian Juvenile Championships. And he said he took figure skating not because it was going to make him a better hockey player, but because he signed up for it and he liked it. This is Mark Shifley, who's in this competition. Mark without Blake Wheeler. And Mark Shifley has done all the computing he has for this, this competition to see how he can win it. He's got a pretty good roll going here. Oh, oh, he lost it. That just cost him a chance to win that. He had a good time going. Yeah, it's amazing just the little things that can happen. The Canes had the only real clean run, and his is 28.6. Johnny Goodrow, when he did this last year, did it in a 24, so four seconds faster. You know what? That that Patrick. low low target to go through is, is probably best when it's the last one, but it's given guys trouble when it hasn't been. Well, most guys are taking the approach of just shooting it through instead of picking it up. So the problem is when it goes through, yeah. it's going everywhere. It could maybe come back off the next target, or it could just go behind the net like it did there. Yeah, and that's where the advantage is. When it's on the bottom in that last one, you could shoot it right through to the net, and he's talking with his partner there. But when it's at the bottom on the second one, as you can see, that was a penalty against Mark Shifley. Back to Scott. Shifley and Wheeler, Jim, the two Winnipeg Jet representatives in uh, the All-Star Weekend. Mark Shifley is your quintessential hockey nerd. Watches two games a night. Can tell you three days after they played the Minnesota Wild, who was on the Wild's fourth line. And he once had his DNA tested to see what foods best suited his athletic diet. So top that for dedication. Gabe Landeskog is Captain Colorado. Take one and no one, right, Scott, in the hockey nerd comment? Yeah, well, I certainly don't watch uh, two games a night, and I've never had my DNA tested. Other than that, we're exactly the same. <laughs> Dave Landis guy came to North America, played in Kitchener as a 16-year-old, and he roomed with Jeff Skinner when he first arrived in the Ontario Hockey League. Uh, you, you see the deafness around the pucks rolling a little bit on him and the control around these corners. It's interesting watching in the warm-up. You know, you meet new guys that you haven't really talked to. He and Roman Yossi traded sticks during the warm-up. They were talking to each other, the two captains from Colorado and Nashville, and looked at each other's stick, failed around with it for a while, tried to shoot a couple of times, and he went back to his own, though, here to do the competition. There's another captain. It's Claude Drew of the Philadelphia Flyers. He's a competitive guy that hates to lose at anything that he gets into. In fact, his teammates say that if they're bowling, which he absolutely yeah. loves, or anything like that, that he's losing in, you have to keep playing because he won't let you stop. Oh, no. oh he wiped off his stick, too. Gets the new putt. Uh oh Hard to believe that bottom one's giving guys more trouble than the higher ones, isn't it? Pretty clean run, though. Can he beat Kane? Don't think so. Nope, he moves into second place, but he's two seconds slower than Patrick Kane. You know, it just seems like there's one spot where the guys have had a little bit of trouble, and you know, that bottom one has given both five guys trouble getting it through. It's almost too. It's, it's too, too easy. They it's think, too yeah. short, to, too uh, close to the ground to put it on your stick, cradle it, and direct it through. It's probably better to shoot it, but it's like I said, it's hard to control. If we're gonna dissect it that much. Yeah. <laughs> Here's John Tavares. What did he get roundly booed for not signing in San Jose when he was introduced as a member of the Toronto Maple Leafs? And a little bobble and towards I, the end of the box. I asked him here when he got booed, and I said, was this one of your final teams? And he was like, I just did an interview with these guys. I don't know what their problem is. <laughs> He's a tough guy to, to hate. I think uh, yeah. you got to respect his skill and his competitiveness, which is his forte. Did you see him smile down there at all? He doesn't really smile, though, does he? Well, he makes Captain Serious look like he's doing stand-up at Yuck Yucks. He's a very serious hockey player. Great Hit the guy. net, John. Hit the net. Oh, he got it finally. And again, that bottom one, and he tried to shoot it through and missed, and his teammate Austin Matthews having a little chuckle in the spirit of competition. I think as much as people were waiting for Connor McDavid for the speed, I think you're looking for this last guy coming up. And Johnny Gaudreau just seems so well suited for this one, how quickly he can go around the corners. Lower center of gravity, shorter stick, quick hands, all of that. What a terrific line he's playing on this year, and he's an MVP candidate midway through the season. Plays with Sean Monahan and Elias Lindholm, and it's one of the best lines in the league. 
Kevin, are you going to have some Gatorade ready for him? Maybe at the end there on the bench? I'll wipe him off with a towel <laughs> if he wins this. The one thing about him that's so impressive, every time he touches the puck in a game, he makes something happen. Something happens, happens yeah. And it's hard to do that because sometimes you just, there's not time and space, there's guys on you, and he knows where to go with the puck. He's a pretty special player. Well, if they still had phone boots, he could stick handle them one. He's looking good here. Yeah. He really is. Oh, wow. And that's where it is. It's one the fastest.